uh, why you should join the army. The, in my opinion, when you leave the army, you therefore classify as veteran status. Even myself classified as veteran status, uh, even though I didn't, you know, deploy. Even even though I didn't, you know, fight in combat. But the thing is, I kind of tried seeking that, and just the roll of the dice, you know, sent me the other way. So you know, blessing, a curse, whatever. Um, I kind of begrudge that fact, and I wish I had gone, but at the same time, I accepted, you know, what happened to me, you know, and also, you know, hey, my parents didn't want me to go, so, you know, you know, what, what son doesn't respect what his parents say, ultimately, you know. Um, the, uh, that, and that's something else, is that really, uh, it was kind of my choice on uh, what job I wanted to choose, but it's just, you know, there was no other job for me. Uh, you know, that I could find, and it was worthwhile, and it didn't involve going to day labor at six every morning. And I have a college degree, you know, I'm not going to accept that as a job, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, although it would have been very humbling, you know, and basically it was the same thing I did in the Army. Um, but the, the thing is, otherwise I would have just stayed that way, you know, and that's what I didn't like, or that's what I didn't want. So I realized, uh, I might as well, you know, it's make this change in my life and who knows maybe you know some parts of it will probably be good and beneficial for me and you know improve me and so there are some skills you learn you know from it and I mean that's the without the comic book flair you know yeah you know and there's some hard freaking life lessons you learn but they're worthwhile they're necessary and they're important and it's also it's it's in a controlled environment here's the, the great thing about the military you can screw up you can screw up repeatedly and keep getting like, ah, all right, slap, you know, always slap on the wrist. It, but if you really screw up, you know, and but then that's really like with drugs, then uh, they, they, you know, they, they take money from you and they, and they put you in quarters. You know, they, they lock you down. You know, they're basically going to, you know, do something to you. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're like messing around with women, you know, same thing. Uh, but otherwise, um, you could be, uh, you know, you could have medical problems. You know, and you just don't want to tell anybody about it, you know, and just whatever they find is what they find, you know. And, um, I didn't, you know, have any medical problems, and I wasn't really ready to, you know, find out if I had any before going in. I was like, yeah, I'll let them figure it out. Um, and that's what kind of seems to happen, is that, you know, a lot of people, they don't realize they have medical problems, and uh, they end up getting coverage uh, for, for kind of like the rest of their lives, you know, because of that. So that's a neat way to go about it, is that, you know, uh, in my opinion, you know, is better to join and then figure out like, oh, I, I got some medical problems, you know, that I'm going to need a lot of medical insurance for. Well, I ain't, you know, 100%, you know, free medical, you know, I have to worry about insurance. So that's something else, you know, and especially like if uh, you have a spouse um, or, a, you know, a child, and like an especially needs child too. That's for like a lot of people, that's why they chose the military. Uh, or that's like, you know, part of the, you know, the big reason. But you can also like, um, be married, you know, to your loved one, and your loved one can be in the military or not, um, and, you know, not have kids, you know, and be very happy, you know, I, I knew this guy, this couple, they, they were, um, <laughs> they, 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 you know, they, they were big in the church, and uh, the wife was even a chaplain's assistant, you know, and I worked with this guy, and, um, but they were the biggest boozers, and, you know, you, you know, just living the, the bachelor lifestyle, just li loving living together, you know, in this uh, high-rise apartment in Hawaii, and um, just, hell yeah, man, <laughs> you know, it's just, they're just loving life, you know, and they're smart, and they didn't get kids, you know, they complicate everything, you know, they, they, you know, they took care of that, so, um, and it's just, yeah, you know, it's an awesome way to go, you know, and that's, so, you know, if it works out good, that's yeah, amazing, but you gotta, you know, have sane heads, you know, to begin with, uh, you gotta, you know, keep your head, you know, on your, you know, shoulders, uh, throughout it all. And, yeah, you know, that's the only problem, is that the military will, um, mind screw you, in a way. And it's a weird way, it's kind of like, it makes you susceptible, it makes you, you know, doubt yourself at times. Um, I, this Marine I was talking to in Hawaii, he said, uh, I looked at him, I was like, you know, it's just really weird to looking at you, because this guy looked like a total hippie totally blended in with that population, you know, tattoos, you know, you know, scraggly hair and beards and whatever, and just, uh, just like, even the dress, you know, just, yeah, and, um, you know, and, you know, you know, buy it too, you know, <laughs> it was, 
wow, man. But anyways, uh, just a cool ass dude, you know. And I was like, man, you know, this just seems weird. You don't seem like a marine, you know. And he's like, man, I never let the marines change me. Um, and that's just like profound to me, you know. Like, holy cow, because it really seemed to me that, uh, yeah, marines were a change. But it's like, no, I don't, I don't let the marines change me. And it's like, that's the tough, you know. To me, that's like the toughest, you know, mind screw environment. If you let it, you know, get to you. Uh, for me, basic training didn't get to me. So that's something else, is that, you know, you can have that initial fear that it's going to get to me, and, uh, or can I handle it? Can I hack it? And the thing is, um, you can hack it. Anybody can hack it. Um, I, I had the benefit that I was living on my own for four years, and then went to, um, uh, uh, like my freshman year, I went through, I took a military science course. And it was during the spring, and uh, they offered a free field training exercise. And they said, "Yeah, you just sign some forms, you know, like basically, you know, uh, insurance documents, you know." And but basically, this is just a training thing. This, you know, this is a lot of the experience. So yeah, and I got to be the soldier for the weekend. They, I was suited up from you know boots to camouflage gear and, and rucksack and you know hat and stuff. Um, and then we uh, drove up to this. Uh, National Guard base in Central California, uh, and use their pasture land that they had cattle on, and also the uh, woodland, which had a lot of po poison oak in it. But um, it was good because you know you you kind of were living in a you know this environment, you know, and it was very controlled, you know. But it it gives you the heightened sense because you know, you know poison oak and mud pies, you know, and it's that's good. That's a good thing. That's a good skill you want to develop because you want to become aware of everything going on around you. You want to know what's going on, you know. And I'd rather that I'm worried about, you know, is this a bad leaf to be grabbing, or where, what the hell am I stepping in, you know? And and later on, if I'm cool with that, then I can go to an environment where it's like, all right, am I going to be stepping on a landmine? You know, is there going to be an IED? And you know. Yeah, you know, if you like camping, if you can have it, you know, handle a hat camping, that's cool. You just got to put up the authority. That's the big challenge, you know. And it's just like, ah, you know, sometimes, you know, it's it's good to have a boss. And so my message to all the NCOs out there: better to be a buddy than a butthead. Okay, so seriously, um, I I didn't like it. Nobody else liked it. You know, if, if it's necessary to get the job done, you can have that. But there's a way to do that as well. Leadership courses, take them, you know, and if that's, if you want to lead men too, which can be exhilarating, like, ah, oh, I'm going to create something, you know, I'm going to for, I'm going to take these guys, I'm going to make them to a living weapons, you know, they, they, I'm going to, they're going to change, they're going to become something new before my eyes, it'll be my creation, you know, it, I mean, you know, God, but anyways, uh, but it's kind of cool, you can do that, you know, you can have that, you can have this tight, you know, uniformity, um, so that's something else. Realize that you just, I, you, know, you just feel, I, I, you know, it's with me and these guys we can conquer the world. So that, that's an epic feeling. You know, that's a you know choice you can have in your life. Um, the the other thing, but ultimately what it is is that if you join the military, you can claim veteran status regardless of how long you serve. You know, you can retire in it. You can just you know serve two years and get out. Um, you know, and, and it could even be National Guard or, you know, um, Reserve. You know, it's your choice. You know, any way you want to accept it. And any branch of service, too. So, that, you know, you can have no experience and just jump into it. They'll train you from the ground, you know, up. You, you could be like, I want to learn how to be a nurse. You know, you have no, nothing, no skills to show for it. Or like, I want to learn how to be a lawyer. Bam. You know, guess what? You, roll, you enroll in JAG. You know, like, Forget going to college, you know, just join the military jag. You don't, you don't fight in the military then, you know, guess what, woohoo, you know. And the journalist school, man, you know, it's a shame they had to back up on the journalist school and wouldn't let me enroll. Uh, anyways, um, God, I should have used the power, you know, back then. But um, you, you can do a lot of different things. You can choose how you do different things. You can have fun with it. You can enjoy it. You can, you know, like, Hopefully you don't learn to hate it, you know, but really just remember not to start hating it. Learn to control it. You know, that's how you survive in the military.